and welcome back. Um, so today I wanted to share with you um, my review on this Revlon all-in-one hair dryer and volumizer. Um, so I threw the box away but I did get my phone just so I can show you what the box actually looks like. So it's the Revlon Pro Collection Sal Sal Salon, Salon One-Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. So it looks like this. And that retails at usually $59.99, but at the moment it's $39.98 on Boots. And there are actually lots of offers on this one at the moment as well. So it's quite a big, chunky brush, as you can see. Um, it's very bristly. It feels like quite a stiff hairbrush. It's got, it's got three settings. It's got a zero, a cool, um, a heat one, and a heat two on the bottom there, if you can see that. So I really like this. I've used it a couple of times and actually I loved the result. It gives you like a salon blowout without having to go to a hair salon. Also, because my hair is like super long, this is all my real hair. So I find it very difficult and pointless really going to salons and things because actually my hair doesn't hold it. If you would like to see how this thing works and how I use it, then please keep watching. So one of the things I like to do first before I go ahead and do this is I use the VO5 heat protection spray. So I just give my hair a nice once over with that, just because the, um, the hair style at all does get quite hot. So. Okay, so step one, what I'm gonna do is part my hair. I'm just gonna tuck the top section away just so I can focus on and get into the roots here. So I've let my hair dry naturally um, but it is still quite damp and wet in places especially on the roots and it does say that the best results are when it is a little bit damp. So the thing I love the most about this brush is it does get right into those roots and give you that volume boost at the top. So I'm going to turn it on it's quite noisy, it does sound like a hairdryer, not as loud as a hairdryer, but it's still quite noisy, um, so don't expect silence. So let's go full heat. See? And it does act like a hairdryer, there is hot air coming out of this at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'll do it without turning it on for a moment. So I get section by section, so with this section, and you treat it as a brush, and you get right into the roots, and slowly drag it through like that. So that's exactly how it works. So I'll show you again. So you grab your section of hair, you put the brush right to the roots, and you sort of brush upwards. So if you brush up and out, I'll show you this side. So right in there, right to the root, and then brush up and out. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this baby on and show you. So I'm gonna go full heat.
that's just one side so you can instantly see like how smooth that brush is out and it's given it a bit of extra volume in here and again what I do at the end is I just twist the brush um, a little bit and it just gives it like an a natural flick at the bottom obviously the more you go over it the more defined that flick is um, but I literally get it to the bottom and when I get to like here with some length left I start just gently turning and watching the hair wrap around and just sort of hold it for a moment let it get quite warm and then I just gently bring it out and let it go and you'll have like a nice bit of body at the end I would say that this tool is much much better on like shoulder length and shorter hair um, but I still think it works great for sort of long hair but you will get obviously more body in hair that's not so thick so because my hair is so thick it does sort of drag it down a little bit and it loses that curl and volume okay so I'm going to move on and carry on with this side a second start from the back this time is the bottom layer done so now I'm gonna move on to the top layer so I'm just gonna go down and bring the rest of my hair down leaving the hair to be brushed at the front so I'm gonna start with this side but now I can get right up here into the into the roots here um, and what I didn't explain is sometimes I brush it through with this first just to smoothen out that hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do this top half.
Okay, so that is the whole head done. So what I will do is I just go over any bits that I think need an extra um, like volumise, anything that I think needs a bit smoothing. So if you don't straighten some of it first, you will get like the frizzy bits. Um, so I'm just going to go over them and just get a bit more volume just in this little bit here. we have it so that is my whole hair done as you can see it's you know it's got a bit of a bounce it's not over over bouncy but a lot of that is due to the amount of hair that I have um, But overall I, I'm really happy with the finish of this product and um, it just I don't know it gives me just a bit more freedom with it a bit more bounce makes it feel a bit sexier so yeah I really like that so the last thing I do is I use this bed hair shine spray so I use this because of the smell, mainly. I love it, it reminds me of when I was like 12 and I used to get my hair done and this was like the product in all the salons. So I just go over my whole head. Like so. Oh, that smells so good. And that is it, so that is the finished look with the product. I hope you like it, if you try out the product and you really enjoy it or you dislike it, then do let me know. I love hearing all of your thoughts. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one.